Hello friend, I am so tickled pink over something I have been wanting to share for quite some time. Super fun pocket photo printers that are all, you guessed it, pink. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, subscribe, and leave any questions or comments below. I ordered four adorable and portable pink printers and I can't wait to test them out with you. Whether you're looking for something for crafting, travel, or just printing on the go, I hope this video helps guide you towards what will be fun for you to use. All of these also come in white if for some reason you aren't as tickled by the color pink as I am. While I'll be sharing my initial thoughts, I can go more in depth in a future video about which ones are my favorites and how I've used them in my daily creative life. So let's unbox these beauties check out their features and see which one might be your favorite. Here we go. This first one is the HP Sprocket in blush pink. If you've followed my channel for a while, you might remember that I used to love using the first iteration that was white many years ago. This compact printer connects to your phone via Bluetooth, making it super easy to print photos that have a sticky back from your camera roll or social media in just seconds. It features the special zinc zero ink technology, which means you won't have to deal with any ink cartridges, just load in the zinc paper and you're good to go. Plus the prints come out in a two by three inch sticker format, which is perfect for scrapbooking, decorating your space, or just sharing memories with friends. Look at that, I love the design. It looks so sleek. See that terrazzo sort of splattered effect on it. Ooh, I can't wait to open this. And it comes with the charging cord, of course. And it looks like there is a pack of 10 papers with the sticky back already in here. Because I was filming with my iPhone, I couldn't show you how I set it up with the app and printed out these two photos, but trust me, it was very easy and very intuitive. The prints look pretty good. I'm really happy with the way they came out. I love that the printer itself looks like Terrazzo. It's stylish and portable, so you can easily throw it in your bag for a day out. On the back, you can see it says Zinc HP, and you just peel it away to stick it down. Up next is the Canon IV2 in blush pink. This is the second generation, and though I didn't have the first generation, I do have some pictures printed from friends, and I'm very excited about seeing how this one performs. So the app is very intuitive to use, and I really like how there is the spinning wheel so you know it's operating and connecting to the printer because the light is turning different colors on the IV and then you can actually see the demonstration of the photo coming out of the printer and also on the screen. I love that. I chose the same photos as I printed before on the HP with the intention of showing you how the actual prints compare to each other. The Canon IV2 uses the same zinc technology which ensures vibrant, smudge-proof prints. I think they look really good. The quality and vibrancy and color seem pretty accurate. But before I show you how they look next to the others, let's take a look at the third printer. This is the HP Sprocket Panorama printer. It looks like it has a built-in cutter and look, you can print out strips of photos. So let's take a look at how this works. Obviously this one is the biggest of all the printers that I'm sharing today, but you can see that it's still very compact and cute. I love the shade of pink. It says to place this side facing up, use cleaning sheet first. All right, so load it in. It took a minute to grab onto it, but then I have to click the top back on and it looks like the cleaning sheet is going through and doing its thing. So I have to be honest, the app wasn't as intuitive for me to use. And I'm not sure if I just needed to watch a video or something, but I wanted to initially print this photo, this photo, and this photo all in a strip, but it looks like it's printing these individually. And so I had to go with that. And then it looks like there's a paper jam. So I was getting a little bit frustrated, but I stuck with it. 
And I don't hesitate to say that it is user error. I do think this cutter is really cool. You just press down on it and it does cut the photos. I do kind of wish these were in strips as I had imagined, but like I said, I think I just needed to maybe watch a tutorial on how to actually do this, but I didn't because I was impatient. So I'm gonna try collaging. Maybe that'll do it, but look at what happens to the collage. <laughs> <laughs> they become so little. Okay, I just really wanted to get this done. So I am going to see, oh, that's not so bad. I kind of like that. Though I will say I really wanted to print what looked like a traditional photo strip and I thought it would be a lot more intuitive. And that's part of the reason I didn't show you, well, there's two reasons I didn't show you how the HP Sprocket turned out or how I printed it is because I was actually filming on my phone. So then I had to borrow somebody else's phone for the Canon IV2. In any case, this is how it turned out. And as you can see, there is a little curve to the photos because it comes from a roll. I don't mind, it uses the same zinc technology. So these are sticky backed as well. And I think it's kind of cute as the collage. And I do like this little cutter. It's very satisfying to press it. <laughs> okay, so I've peeled off the backing and now I'm going to stick it right into this book here. And I guess you could trim off the white if it bothers you, but for this it was fine. Last but not least, the Instax Mini Link 2. It is so beautiful, soft pink. And as you know, I love Instax printers. I was so eager to get this charged up, but then I realized that I left all of my film at home. So if you do get this printer, it does not come with film. So instead of showing you the process of how it prints out very easily through the app, I decided it would be best to just show you the results. I've been obsessed with Instax for many years and the credit card sized photos are amazing. The size of the photo actually is two by three, but the outside border is the size of a credit card and you can add it to your journals and even have hidden journaling behind it. So it's a little bit thicker and slightly more substantial, but there is a very nice film quality to it too. So I really love it. This is a different size. This is the Instax wide that I'm showing you here. And the photo of just the two of us is from the Canon IV2, which brings me back to the beginning. Let's see how the HP Sprocket and the Canon IV2 compare. So the top two are with the HP Sprocket and the bottom two are with the Canon IV2. In my opinion, honestly, they're both great compact printers and they both come in pink. However, I think the HP makes me look a little bit more pink. In comparison, I believe the Canon IV2 is a little bit more accurate as far as skin tone goes, and it also matches truer to what I'm seeing on the screen. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below if you have a favorite or if you need all of them. <laughs> I hope this has helped you discover some amazing options for pink photo printers. Actually, let me say pink pocket photo printers. Remember the right printer for you depends on your unique style and needs. Whether you choose any of these or stick with an old favorite that you have, the key is to have fun capturing and sharing your memories. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, subscribe and drop a comment below about which one is your favorite, or of course, any questions that you might have. Keep the creative juices flowing, my friends.